In Consumer Corner, we take a look at the trends and products that are creating a buzz in China today. There is an explosion of wealth across the United States in the form of hundreds of thousands of Chinese tourists celebrating the new year and shopping. From hotels to retailers, Americans are rolling out the welcome mat, hoping to capture a portion of this swelling Far East revenue stream. Spring Festival and other Chinese holidays bring Chinese shoppers to the U.S. and other countries. The Chinese New Year is the most important holiday in China and a human travel wave of epic proportions. It's like Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year's all rolled into one. In China alone, there will be 225 million extra railway passengers and 3.4 billion individual journeys during this holiday. Increasingly, Chinese are also choosing to make the holiday trips abroad with their families. And the past decade was a golden age for this country's outbound. 70 plus million Chinese toured foreign countries in 2011, a five-fold increase in just 10 years. Even with the global financial crisis, the country managed to account for 30% of all the world's overseas tourists in 2011. The outbound travel market in China is 1.2 times that of the American market and 3.5 times that of Japan. China is the fastest growing source of inbound tourists for many countries, including the United States. After the easing of travel restrictions and visa requirements in both the U.S. and in China, Chinese are increasingly using the spring holiday to travel, and particularly to the United States. Ten years ago, the U.S. received roughly 150,000 Chinese visitors per year. Now, nearly that many arrive each month. 2011 was the first year the number of Chinese tourists to the U.S. hit 1 million. And that number is expected to grow by 300% to 4 million by 2017. The Chinese spend more per capita than travelers from almost any other country. Chinese tourists pitched $69 billion overseas in 2011, and the total is predicted to top $80 billion in 2012. Chinese visitors to California spend $180 per day and as much as $1,900 per trip. The conspicuous consumption of Chinese tourists is mainly in luxury goods. Wealthy Chinese spend an estimated $7.2 billion on overseas extravagances over 2012 Spring Festival, up by 29% from 2011. CNBC reported that while affluent Chinese have been paring back spending on some luxury goods, many high-end retailers are betting that this Chinese New Year sales could create a retail mini-Christmas. Along New York's Madison and Fifth Avenues, several window displays feature Chinese themes to attract Chinese consumers. Chinese tourists today shop these pricey venues, making bulk orders of quality clothing and jewelry. Xinhua News Agency reported that 10 years ago, most Chinese shoppers only bought discounted goods or clearance sale items. The news about Chinese bringing soaring revenues to America has provoked a buzz on China's internet, with netizens expressing their opinions on this hot issue. A Weibo user wrote, Americans have long known how rich Chinese are. When China celebrates its festivals, Americans get paid. Another wrote, The holiday economy during the Lunar New Year is a big red money-filled envelope sent from east to west. One poster made a sarcastic comment about the new rich swarming to consume abroad. Quote, I saw many advertisements alluding to Chinese New Year in the Wall Street Journal over the past few days. I can only say that wealthy Chinese are getting wealthier while the world leans over backwards to please them. And as long as they stop making a scene of snapping up milk powder in foreign countries and are orderly, the U.S. will surely continue to welcome them. Some pointed out the reason why Chinese people are so obsessed with shopping overseas. One commentator wrote, when you find the things that you cannot afford in China can be found at half price in America, you too might get a bit shopaholic. Who can blame them? But some irate posters blame the influential rich in China for boosting the economies of other countries at China's expense. One man wrote, I guess Chinese spending power mainly comes from those bigwigs and their children. Ordinary people cannot splash out their hard-earned money like that. The news says only 1% of households control about half the national wealth here. But all these rich are busy rescuing other countries' economies. Is there any hope for China's domestic economy in the future? The government needs to create a better environment for local consumers 
and expand domestic demand. And that about wraps it up in the subject of international holiday travel for Chinese. Don't go away. Up next is Guess the Price. <laughs>